my angels and demons, Heather here with another speed paint video. Okay, so I'm going to talk about laziness. This is not really going to be like a story time thing, just about my past experiences with being lazy. Like all kids, I procrastinated on schoolwork and stuff like that in like elementary school. Middle school, however, no, no, I did not do that because in when I started middle school, we had this kind of stamp sheets system where each of our teachers would give us a stamp if we did our homework. We get a yes stamp if we did our homework. We were given two freebie stamps to use whenever certain things were to come up. If we didn't do our homework, we would get a no stamp. This is where those freebie stamps come in. If you end up not doing your homework for some sort some strange reason, you can use the freebie stamp. Once you use up your freebie stamps, however, though, if you get a no stamp after you use up your freebies, then you have to go to what was called full time, but it was really a kind of detention in a way. I mean, it wasn't officially called detention. No, 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 no. This is something that wouldn't be put on records or anything like that. But it's something that everyone has done in my school at least once. I've done it a few times. In fact, my brother's friend would actually do it from would actually be there at least once a week to do her homework during that time. You would pretty much have to stay after school for at least another hour. Yeah, during that time I would not I would not be procrastinating on my homework. I mean, I would occasionally I would do it every once in a while, but eh, I managed to not do, I managed to not be lazy for like, whenever we get like these stamp sheets, they would be for usually about once, like one term, like one quarter they would last. And if you were to last the whole quarter without without using up without getting any no no stamps besides your besides your freebies or even not even use your freebies at all then you would go on this reward field trip this field trip was specifically for kids who would do their homework so it was pretty much all like okay if you do your homework then great you won't have to not only will you not have to stay you will get to leave school on time and not have to stay in school for another hour, but you also get a reward. So, yay. I say that's a good way to get kids to do their homework. Like, not just say that there's a consequence, but also say that there's a reward, too. Because it evens things out. Those are scared of the consequence, while those are just as excited about the reward. I went on the award field trip a few times. My favorite being Amazing Jake's. It was the first time I ever went to Amazing Jake's and it was incredible. Just, yeah. <laughs> there was this one time though, I was supposed to go on a award field trip, but I didn't and I was really pissed off. Don't know what happened. And to be honest, I've forgotten it. I don't really care about it anymore because there are other things I'm more pissed off about, like how my little brother did not give my teacher my permission slip when I was in Disneyland so I couldn't go to Sun Splash! But more on that in another story. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't really start being lazy until like, uh, my, until like, um, after high school, yeah. So... In my freshman year of high school, I was not lazy at all. In fact, I got straight A's. <laughs> it was incredible. Just, yeah! <laughs> I ended up using my lunch and the celebration I mentioned in a, in a previous video to do my homework. And whenever I wasn't doing my homework, I was doing school assignments or reading. I really did a lot of reading at the time because I wanted to be smart. I wanted to be like incredible and I did succeed that in my freshman year, but sophomore year came around and I ended up discovering this thing called fan fiction. So I wasn't reading actual books during my free time. I mean, I was still doing my schoolwork and my homework. So yay on that, but 
now during my free time, I wasn't reading books. I was writing fan fictions or reading fan fictions. Just <laughs> and then junior year came around and oh boy, did I procrastinate a lot because I figured I'd rather draw than do schoolwork. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I did do my schoolwork, but it was my homework that I was all like, Ugh, do I really have to do this? I ended up putting it off and having to, I ended up putting it off and like, I would do it like at the very last minute, like even past due date, like, sure, I would get my grades suffered, but they wouldn't really last forever because I would still do them. I would make them up later and I would still get graded for them. They just weren't as high because it <laughs> It was late, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, my school did accept late homework, just as long as it was before the end of the semester. <laughs> so that's why I didn't mind it. But uh, yeah, I pretty much stopped doing that when I went to online school because with how the online school grading system works, youch. If you don't stay on top of things, at least stay on top of things when it came to uh, the certain when it came to this online school, then your grades suffer pretty, pretty nuts. In fact, there have been times when I've been on the computer for hours beyond hours when my siblings were sleeping and I was still studying because of this online school thing. But more on my s online school experience another day. So, yeah. Moral of the story is, please don't be lazy, kids. Because... <laughs> Yeah, I've learned that there are some great rewards when it comes to not being lazy. And when you are lazy, well, there are a lot of consequences. I pretty much became a productive person. I mean, I can't just stand around doing nothing. That's just how I am. In fact, whenever I'm standing around it, at work, it drives me nuts. And I go to like a manager and go, can you please give me something else to do? I, j I can't stand here, please. Because, yeah, I just, I don't like just standing around. <laughs> Which, that is a great word fact, Nick. So, please don't be lazy, people. In fact, whenever I procrastinate on stuff nowadays, like, for instance, I procrastinated on my art, <laughs> on my Christmas art, and you guys ended up not getting it until <sighs> two weeks after New Year's. I'm embarrassed about that. Eh, not really that there's any consequences, because I know I'm not the only one who does that, but uh, I'm also right now procrastinating on my laundry, and it's now gotten my siblings pretty mad at me, because they want to do their laundry too, and yet I'm taking up the space in the in the dryer. Just uh, And whenever I'm not doing my laundry, my laundry's just sitting there in the corner of my room and my room's pretty much going yeah i'm not clean remember i'm still here <laughs> my laundry's going yeah this room is not clean because i'm still here <laughs> uh so yeah so you really can't be lazy at all i mean sure there are times when it's okay to be lazy like when you are overworking yourself it's okay to take to take time to relax but don't do it on a daily basis. Don't, like, be so lazy that it ends up, like, you're in, like, deep doo-doo or something along those lines. <laughs> so to all of you who are, in, who are in school, like, whether it's elementary school, middle school, high school, or even college, please don't procrastinate on your stuff, especially if you're a college student. I mean, I'm not really in college yet, but I heard that if you procrastinate on that stuff, then you're you're practically dead. Yeah. <laughs> if I were to ever go go to college, I I do want to, eventually. Yeah. If I ever do, I am not. I mean, not gonna procrastinate at all because I know that's gonna that's pretty much me digging my own grave. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed the speed paint and me pretty much rambling about my experiences of being lazy. Have a good day and may angels be with you.